My name is Ramon, cosmetic formulator, esthetician. That's something I've mentioned before on the channel that I've more recently become an esthetician here in the UK. I did my course and my certification stuff. That was a really interesting educational experience. Realistically, the two main things that I got out of that course were learning how to perform facials on someone else and really just working on other people because that's a very different experience to working on yourself, but also the magic and world of electrotherapy devices. And I already did a video discussing the things from my esthetician course that I already incorporated into my routine or that I now have as a result of completing the course. And in that video, I talked about electrotherapy devices, specifically my two favorites, high frequency and microcurrents, as well as lymphatic drainage. And in that video, you guys had a lot of questions. And so for today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the ins and outs of lymphatic drainage, what it is, how it works, and some techniques you can incorporate at home. But also I'll be working with the sponsor for today's video, Metacube, once again, to highlight their HR device and discuss the techniques and the tips to using this for facial massage and using it for the actual EMS microcurrent benefits that the machine's actually for, to get a toned, lifted, and sculpted face, as well as all the other fun ways to use this to make sure you're getting the best possible benefits. So the first and I think most common question I got out of that video was, what is lymphatic drainage and what are the benefits of it and how do I incorporate that at home? Home. So lymphatic drainage is essentially a way of massaging and manipulating lymph, which is part of the lymphatic system, across and out of specific areas of the body and essentially you're working it towards the lymph nodes to filter that lymph. Without stimulating that lymph to move, what can happen is you get an accumulation or pulling of lymph in certain areas of the body. With us, we're more concerned with the face. With that pulling of the lymph, that's where the swollen face comes from, really swollen, puffy face. And so lymphatic drainage is manually simulating that lymph through the lymph nodes and away, like to other areas of the body, and reducing that puffiness substantially. It is definitely very, very useful and it serves two functions, both an aesthetic visual function as well as an actual like physiological function as well. There's nothing really stimulating that lymph to move outside of essentially I think muscle contraction is what gets the fluid to be able to move through the lymph nodes. Then I'll have a diagram here on screen of the primary lymph nodes in like the head and neck region. And basically what you're doing is you're massaging the skin and to manipulate the lymph towards the lymph nodes to aid in the movements, but also the filtering of that lymph. In SD school, the way we did it and the way we learned is you essentially work up to this specific area, which is the parotid, the parotid lymph nodes. We would work our way up to the lower jaw. So we're just going in and we're massaging up to here. Once we're up to this area underneath the jaw, we're massaging up towards essentially where the chin is. So you're massaging this way and you're really just doing a few different passes, but you're providing an adequate amount of pressure to really like feel the massage, but not so that it's like hurting you, you know, like pressing into your skin. Once we get everything from under here to the chin, we then massage along the jaw line. And this is where like those things are like gua sha, those gua sha tools are really, really useful and practical because they really hug the contours and help to do that movement. From there, we go up and we start getting things to the parotid area. From there, we go and we massage from the center of the face outward again. And from there, we jump to the forehead and we're massaging across the forehead and down to the parotid area again. Afterwards, you would then go back down and flush that out. But that's the general consensus of like lymphatic massage and getting that movement and really getting that stimulation of the lymph system and getting everything filtered through the lymph nodes to reduce and greatly minimize the puffiness in the face as well as get the stimulation of lymph. And you want some sort of slip. You can use anything from a serum to an oil cleanser, to an oil, to a moisturizer. Getting on to the next part of the video, I obviously got a lot of questions about electrotherapy devices and what those do and how they work. Essentially functions as non-surgical facelifts or plastic surgery, which I just want to say with that, there is no replacement for plastic surgery. That is what it is. And that's going to be the most effective way to get the results you want. But there's ways to get temporary or surface level results that aren't going to be long-term, but can provide the visual effect that you want for a short period of time. And something like this, like an at-home treatment is a really useful tool between actual like professional treatments as well. So just note that I'm gonna have the disclaimer right here. The first question was, what is electrotherapy? What are all these devices? And electrotherapy is these treatments that utilize different versions and different forms of electric current. And with something like an EMS device, you have a low intensity current and it's that current along with the specific topical skin medium, the gel that you apply onto the face. As you move the device across the face, it is stimulating the muscle. It's contracting the muscle. And so depending on how you move it across the face, how you hold it and whatnot, that's what's getting the effect. It's either going to slim the skin, lift the skin, or essentially like 
retrain and contour the face to get that more lifted sculpted look that's very much associated with consistent microcurrent usage. So the next question is how do you use a device like this? And so as I mentioned in the explanation, a medium is vital. You want to use the specific gel because this is going to be the conduit to get the electric currents to be able to stimulate the muscle adequately and more specifically safely. So what you want to do is you're going to take the gel and you're going to apply it to the area you want to apply the treatment to. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to apply it on just this half of my face. And you're also going to apply some onto the device as well. And so one thing worth noting about the device is that you clearly see the little rolly balls on the end of this. The shape of them is intended to basically mimic the way that an esthetician or facialist hands and thumb specifically would be massaging across the face. And the angle also follows the way that you would be doing that massage as well. And it's also helping to ensure proper pressure as you're working the device across your skin as well. Also worth noting as well, the amount of gel you use will affect the intensity that you feel the actual electric current stimulation. The more gel you use, the more intense you're going to feel it. The less gel you use, the less intense. Depending on where you're massaging this across the face, sometimes you can feel it stronger. So for example, areas that have less fat and muscle underneath them, so my forehead, for example, where it's more bony, you tend to feel the electric current impulse a little bit more strong compared to places like the cheek where you have more muscle and fat. So just things worth noting with that. To actually use a device, you have a slim and up and a body setting. Each of them uses a different wavelength to basically give you the specific benefit that you need. The slim setting, which is going to help aid in that massage and that like lymphatic pulling, and it's going to help depuff the face. The up setting, that's going to help really stimulate that muscle and really give you that lifted contoured effect as you massage and hold the muscle in a specific place. And then the body setting is obviously specifically for the body usage because this can be used on different parts of the body to help stimulate and relax muscle as well as to help with muscle contouring on the body as well. So to use it, turn it on. To change the specific mode, you just press and hold down that button to get to the specific one you want. So we're going to go to up and then to change the intensity, you just press the button to choose the specific intensity you want. You start low, start slow, you build up the intensity that you want to get with this. Even using this as long as I have and being used to this kind of treatment, I still prefer a lower setting because sometimes the intense one can get to be very intense. And you can see even with the low setting, I do get very considerable muscle stimulation. For example, if you're going to do slimming, you're really just working on massaging the device across the face. And the way you want to do this is there are specific zones. So zone one is the jawline. Then you have the cheek bone. Then you have the eye area. Be careful on the eye area. Again, if this starts to hurt or feel uncomfortable, avoid that area. And then you have the forehead and then temple area as well. And for a lot of this, an upward motion is going to be really, really helpful. So you're really hugging the contours of the face or you're going up. The overall treatment should last you if you want to get the full benefit and full effect of it about 10 minutes. For the up treatment, if you want to do that lifting and contouring, what's really important is going to be the up motion coupled with holding the device. That's what's going to really help to give you that specific muscle retraining and contouring to get that more lifted effect. So going up and holding. And you can see my eye is twitching. That is the muscle contraction as a result of the stimulation of this. So it is definitely, you get that, you get that benefit. One thing worth noting with this and a big warning per se is that take off any metal jewelry when you're using the device with the electric currents. Do note, if you have any metal dental work, braces, retainers, fillings, you can sometimes feel the electric currents impulse in your teeth. It's not going to cause you any harm, but just note you can kind of feel that tingling sometimes. So I kind of already explained this, but another question I got a lot was how does it work for that? toning and lifting. Like how do you get that very lifted contoured effect? It's really by going up, but really holding and lifting that muscle that's going to help with that re-education, retoning to get that contoured lifted effect. With the consistent usage of it, it's because it's not going to happen overnight. You're not just going to do it once and like be like snatched. With consistent usage, once, twice a week, if you can, maybe more if you're able to fit that in because 10 minutes sometimes is a lot to fit into a routine. That's where you're going to really see the result with consistent usage. And the next question I got was how does it work for massaging? And again, as I mentioned, you have the motions, you have the movements, any movement across the face like that, especially along the contours, along the lymph lines to the lymph nodes is what's going to help to move that lymph. You don't need the device to be on in order to get the massage effects. Yeah, there is the slim mode, which does use the electrical impulse to aid in that lymph movement, which it can, but you can choose it while it's off for a couple minutes. Like for example, in the morning, these actually, especially with the gel, feel very cooling. So in the morning, if you want to do a little quick depuffing session, just massaging it in those same places. What's the difference between the lymphatic drainage and the 
the actual muscle toning. And again, that really just has to do with lymphatic drainage. You're just moving lymph. That's really just kind of reducing puffiness. Aside from that reducing puffiness, there's not a lot of visual like aesthetic appearance difference you're gonna get. That toning and lifting, that is reliant on the electric currents and lifting, holding that muscle, using the device set amount of times per week and consistently over so many weeks and months. That's how you're gonna get that lifting toned recontoured effect. And that is more of a dedicated usage of the device, whereas the massage is just a massage. The lymphatic drainage isn't gonna give you a super altered, like drastic effect. It's just reducing the puffiness. But what's nice is you can get both effects with one device as well. Next question I got was, do you really need that gel? And the answer is yes, to a certain extent, just because again, the current needs a conduit to be able to give the specific benefits it needs to, to the skin. And every electrotherapy facial required a specific medium applied topically for the device to work. And so for a microcurrent EMS device, you have a specific gel for that, just because the current needs that to be able to do the work it needs to on the skin and for this, the muscle. What I appreciate about this specific gel though, is that this actually has skincare benefits to it. The one we use in the facial treatments and when training was just a straight gel that the current could work through. This actually has ingredients that benefit the skin and therefore you can actually leave this on to get those benefits. Whereas in school, we had to remove the gel afterwards. This specifically helps and aids in skin hydration and moisturization, which is really nice. So you have things like niacinamide, you love to see her, as well as different molecular weights of hyaluronic acid. So you're getting hydration, adenosine and licorice extract, which help with some anti-inflammatory, really calming, soothing elements, which is really nice to have. And so that with niacinamide, you're gonna to help to alleviate any redness you might have as a result of the treatment as well. My skin actually really loves this gel. Next question I got was, can you use this on the body or how does it work on the body? And the answer is yes. And as I mentioned earlier, there is a body setting. I am someone where I have a lot of tension in my shoulders and like this area, I get a lot of knots there. Something like this works really well to work those knots out and just rolling it along my neck, along my shoulder area can be really helpful. I am a chronic one strap backpacker. So I only use one strap and that can cause a lot of like tension in like this part of my shoulder and back. With the gel and on the body setting, I will use this and roll it along my shoulders and it helps to contract that muscle, stimulate that muscle. And as a result, it helps to really alleviate some of the tension that I have in that area. And then that coupled with the massaging of the tool as well, helps to really relax that muscle and take care of any pain I usually get in those areas. There are certain areas of the body you don't wanna use this device on. For example, along this area where you have an Adam's apple, certain parts of the chest, for example, and it's worth noting, this is an electric device. Be careful around your hearts. That's definitely something that you wanna be weary about. Places like the underarm area. But what I will say is at any point you feel a lot of discomfort or pain, avoid that area. That's definitely something you do wanna to listen to. This is one of those situations where it hurting does not equal it working any better. And so with that, that is my video answering again us questions about all the things I learned in aesthetic school around lymphatic drainage, electrotherapy, and my current devices. Huge shout out to MediQ for partnering with me for today's video. Let me know down below in the comment section if you have any more questions about lymphatic drainage, my current devices, or any other SD school related things. I'd love to do another video if you guys have more questions. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, so that you know when I post more skincare, sunscreen, and fancy related content on my channel. Give the video a thumbs up, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye.